Wrangell Mountain Air doesn't just get you to the far reaches of Wrangell St. Elias National Park. They also provide lifelong memories in the form of flight scene trips. Wrangell St. Elias National Park is six times the size of Yellowstone Park, so Wrangell Mountain Air offers four different flight scene tours. Even at that, it's impossible to see more than just a fraction of the park in one trip. During our trip, we flew over the Kennecott and Root Glaciers. One amazing feature of the Kennecott Glacier is the Stairway Icefall. This is a jagged wall of ice over 7,000 feet high, so dangerous it has never been climbed. Just to grasp the immensity of this place, just one of the park's countless glaciers is big enough to engulf Rhode Island, and the park as a whole is 25% bigger than Switzerland. Many people get to see Wrangell St. Elias Park from the air, and flight scene tours are very enjoyable. But to fully experience the immensity of the landscape, we decided to also take a tour less popular and a little more demanding. We've left Kennecott, and we're walking along the old glacier edge from 1860. This is where the edge of the glacier was in 1860. And we're headed up to the actually walk on the clean part of the root glacier. If you look out here to the left, you see a lot of soil and everything, but that's, that's, that's residue that's melted. The glacier's actually under it, but up there it's clear. And that's where we're gonna walk out on the ice. If there's one thing you learn from a hike like this, <laughs> it's how tiny you really are. If you had a ice uh, tool that you could spud down in here, how far would you have to go down before you got that really deep blue glacier ice? Do you have anything that allow a Gaia to, to show you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing back. <laughs> He's a dangerous man with an ax or a pick. Well, there, it's blue right there, isn't it? Make a bunch of margaritas out of that, too. That's actually called a rock glacier. It's just a higher percentage of rock and rubble bonded together by a smaller percentage of ice, and it so very slowly creeps down that valley. So in the summer months in Alaska, on the surface of a glacier, you have all these little meltwater streams, all this surficial runoff forming meandering little streams ac across the weaknesses in the ice and having really nowhere else to go but down, the water will start to carve its way into the ice and form what is known as a moulin. French word. Moulin. 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 Oui. Stands for mill, basically. Water milling out the ice. And uh, your latter stages of a moulin is basically a waterfall just kind of delving into the depths of the glacier quite the feature and uh, they come in all different shapes and sizes we have one right here before us keep in mind though you want to give them a bit of birth because uh, if you go into one of these things tampons don't get you back out of that one huh? you're gone you're milk <laughs> game's over <laughs> we're right behind you all right Right here, it's, it's estimated to be about three to 400 feet deep. We're standing on 400, between 300 and 400 feet of ice right here. That's right. That's yeah. just hard to imagine.
and uh, step right up to the edge. I'll just make sure you don't uh, fall as well. Well, it feels weird sticking your toes down because naturally you want to keep them up because you feel like you're going to trip. Yeah. That digs into that ice. I ain't falling that thing, buddy. No, no thanks. You talk about a saucer sled challenge. Hey, Joe, you'd probably would. die at the end, wouldn't you? <laughs> No way. I, didn't, I wouldn't believe that until I saw it. <laughs>